So you've decided to install a digital sign in your restaurant, mini hotel, workspace, dentistry, gym, or real estate agency? Congrats! The first step has been taken, but we're ready. At the second step, you will face a tough decision. Namely, who will do it? And the first thing that comes to mind, perhaps for any person in this case, is the option to do everything yourself. Hi all, this is Gabriel and you're on the Look Digital Signage channel where we're talking about everything related to digital screens in one way or another. And in today's video, I will give you a short step-by-step -step guide to digital signage DIY setup, which will help you implement your solution, avoiding common mistakes at key stages and without spending more than you would pay a professional if you decided to delegate this task to him. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to learn about new videos first. Well, let's begin. Of course, one of the main tasks of any small business is to minimize costs. In terms of which a DIY solution looks like an excellent way to install a digital sign. It is even better if you have a technical specialist of the appropriate qualifications and staff and you don't have to do everything yourself or with the help of employees who have only seen an electric drill in their desk garage or in a seasonal TV ads of DIY stores. One way or another, but the stages of your installations will look the same. At least in the case of installing a regular flat panel, which we will analyze today, since I strongly recommend delegating the installation of other displays, such as LED screens or video walls, to professionals. Well, everything will start with the engineering stage. Everything is simple here. The very first stage, is also the most difficult because here it is important to finally determine what and for whom you will play because such parameters as the size of the TV and even more critically its location depends exactly on this. Now let's move on to the display itself. There are two ways here a consumer TV from 300 US dollars or a commercial grade display from a thousand US dollars. The advantages of the latter are obvious and we have repeatedly talked about them in other videos. The main thing is that they are brighter, can work around the clock, support portrait placement and last almost two times longer. However, if the goal is to save money and the display should not work more than eight or 10 hours a day, then buy a consumer TV, but still not the cheapest and outdated one. And it is also desirable that it has an operating system inside, for example, Android TV. This will help you save on hardware media player later. When choosing size, consider the placement. In 90% of cases, it will be something between 43 and 65 inches. Do not forget about lighting in the point of placement. If there is direct exposure to light, the brightness should be increased from 500 nits. And it will be better if the screen is anti-glare. Well, and do not take resolution below 4K. We're not in the stone age, right? Okay, so let's move on. Our display needs to be attached to something. We choose the mount accordingly. There are three main types of mounts, floor, ceiling, and wall. The last two are probably the most common and more likely these will be VASA standard mounts. When choosing them, it is important to pay attention to the following things. The mount must be designed for the weight of your TV and fit the established dimensions of its mount. For example, 200 to 200 or 400 to 400. It is extremely important to take into account the material and the strength of the wall or ceiling to which you are going to attach your TV at the engineering stage. And you don't want, um, definitely not. And finally, in the case of the wall mount, pay attention to such a parameter as the distance from the wall to the TV. This is important both from a static and safety point of view. Try to avoid mounts with an extension of more than 10 centimeters. Well, our TV is already in place and ready to play exciting content, but how? The most common and accessible option is a flash drive combined with some software media player for smart TV, such as VLC or MX player. However, in this case, it's worth remembering that the interface of the application itself will regularly appear on the screen over the content. And the most unpleasant thing is changing the content manually. 
We take out the flash drive, delete the old content, download the new one, insert the flash drive, and so on in circle. Bruh. The second option is a professional digital signing software player installed directly on your TV, if its OS allows it, or on some affordable streaming device, such as Amazon Fire TV Stick, or Xiaomi Mi Box, or on a commercial grade player, such as Look HD 2222, or Bright sign, for example. The obvious advantages, in fact, consist of killer features of professional digital sign software, which you will still have to buy in this case. To save money, it's worth choosing a cloud-based solution with monthly subscription. For example, in Look, it costs only 5.4 US dollars per screen per month. The features mentioned above include remote screen management, content creation based on templates, including dynamic content based on news and social media feeds, broadcast scheduling, proof of play features, the ability to integrate with other systems of your IT infrastructure, and much more. And now to the conclusion. It is quite obvious that DIY digital signage is a completely working solution, especially in the format of single installations in small businesses. The main advantage, of course, would be it's low cost. The disadvantages include possible installation errors. Remember that you're not a pro and couldn't take everything into account, which entail problems with reliability, as well as limited control on what is currently on your TV, in the case of the option based on a flash drive. There are no problems here if you have one TV and you're not irritated by the constantly flickering interface of the player itself. But for several locations or if the location is far from you, such a solution will not work. You should at least think about subscribing to Digital Sunny Software. In this case, do not forget to try Loop DS, which is an ideal option for small businesses, thanks to a reasonable combination of value for money. See for yourself within the 14-day free trial or book a personal demo to learn about all the capabilities of the solution firsthand. And that's all I have for today. Don't forget to give us your thumbs up. Gabriel was with you. Take care and see you in the next video. Bye.